Welcome back guys to my series of Harry Potter reviews. Yes, in case you guys don't know, I already covered the Chamber of Secrets and the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone if you live in the UK. Already reviewed those two films in case you don't know how this Harry Potter review series work. I'm going to review two Harry Potter films a month leading up to the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. So without further ado, let's get started with the first film in the Harry Potter franchise that proved that, that this is getting better and better with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, the Prisoner of Azkaban was the first Harry Potter film I seen in the theaters back in 2004. And 2004 was a very memorable year for me when it comes to movies. I seen Spider-Man 2 in the theaters, I seen The Bar Supremacy in the theaters, I seen Shrek 2 in the theaters, and The Incredibles in the theaters in 2004. So yeah, when I first saw this movie when I was four years old, you know, since you, since you were younger, when you watched movies, you love a lot, you loved everything about it. You never really got the full depth. You never really got full in depth in the movie. You never really got too invested in the movie because you were four, you were entertained by it. So yeah, but watching it again as a sixteen-year-old. I love the heck out of Prisoner of Azkaban. This is one of the best films in the Harry Potter franchise. Now, I see Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets more as kiss film. Almost. Almost kiss film, because you know a lot of stuff happened in, in Sorcerer and Chambers. But I see it as more as kiss film since they're both directed by Chris Columbus. They're very lighthearted films, except for Chamber of Secrets, which had a little hint of darkness now. He gets replaced by Alfonso Corrin, who was a fantastic director. I love Alfonso Corrin, who directed Prisoner of Azkaban. This is the first film where I feel like this franchise is really maturing. And you can definitely tell when we see Harry, Hermione, and Ron, who are no longer kids in this movie like they were in the first two films. They are now teenagers, and Harry has matured in this film. He definitely got sick of the of the Dursleys so quickly in this film, especially in the beginning where he does his magic on Marjorie, 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 I think that's her name, where he, she turned into a big inflato, almost like a big inflato balloon, which was so hilarious. I love that opening scene in this film. Harry's sick of the Dursley. He's sick of everybody's BS in this film. He's sick of, this is what I love about Harry. Harry has gotten hard. Throughout these throughout the year, as soon as he left Hogwarts, the second year, and really that's what I really love about love about this film. Like Harry's just sick of sick of the BS. He's sick of it. Now, of course, this is the only film in the Harry Potter franchise that does not feature a Lord of Voldemort, which I don't really have a problem with that. Since he didn't really need to be in this film, since the film is focused on Sirius Black, played by Gary Oldman, who escaped from prison, and he has something to do. But Harry's parents in this film, and yes, Lord, of, this was an unnecessary film for Lord Voldemort to be in, especially since how I read the book and how I watched the movie. Lord of Voldemort didn't really need to be need to be in this film. But I felt like this movie really focused on Sirius Black, and the dude also escaped prison to kill Harry. This dude cannot get a break from people trying to kill him. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban has to be one of the best films. And the Harry Potter saga. And this film, I'm kind of glad that they started to switch directors in the franchise. So we can kind of get more of a different take with these characters. A much more darker take. And since the first film kind of makes sense, they're sort of light hearted. Since Harry, Hermione, and Ron were kids. And now since they are teenagers in this film, they're starting to get to more of the dark side. The dark elements in the Harry Potter saga. And this movie also has fantastic visuals. Alfonso Cuarón did a great job with the visuals in this film. The cinematography was spot on. It was great. God, this film was awesome. We get introduced to so many different creatures in this film. Like the Dementors, which when I was a kid, I was scared of these things when I was a kid. I thought these were the scariest thing in the Harry Potter franchise. And soon as I got older, I'm still scared of these things. These, th these things are scary as heck. They, these, are, these things have like a ghost, like appearance to them, and they just take your soul away. And they, they really scared me in this film. They, they really were intimidated. They were frightening in this film, and it really added to the dark tone that this movie has. And also, we also get introduced to the hippogriff in this film. Now, this has to be one of the coolest 
creatures in the Harry Potter franchise. The Hippogriff, I always wanted one when I was a kid. The scene where Harry is riding the Hippogriff. And he's all cheering, he's excited, that was a beautifully shot scene, that was a well shot scene in this film, and that's one of the biggest trolls I get for this movie, this is well shot. This is a beautifully well made movie, that's what I really love about the Prisoner of Azkaban. Even though that this movie is dark and serious, this movie has a lot of funny moments, especially of course as I talk about the opening scene, that scene was hilarious. Also, the scene <laughs> where... They're doing this magic trick called Ridiculous, where they're turning their fears into something funny. That's like, Ron is scared of Professor Snape, and he actually turns Professor Snape into some w w stupid outfit. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Also, the bus scene in this movie with Harry on the bus going to Hogwarts, and he gets hit towards the window. That, that was gold. That was just comedy gold right there. And the big talking head thingy. That he was funny too. Also, Malfoy, of course, getting his butt handed to him in this film. We went to Hippogriff attacked him and actually get injured him in this film. Which, of course, that's how a little snot nosed Brett needed. Also, the scene where Hermione was well, tired of his crap, his BS, and just glass him in his face. That was funny too. This movie has a lot of funny moments in this film. That's one thing that I do like. Do got to say about this Harry Potter film. The scene in this film where Harry overhears a conversation where Sirius Black kills his parents. The scene that then Harry, Ron, and Hermione takes off the invisible cloak and he just you could definitely see the anger in his face that he wants to kill this guy. And then when he finally meets Sirius Black, he realized that this guy doesn't want to kill him. It's actually Peter Pettigrew, who was Ron's rat in this film, wants to kill Harry in this film. And Professor Lupin in this film, which I am about to get you what happened to Professor Lupin in this film, and Sirius Black, which was, this was a great scene. They both turn into werewolves in this film, which the CGI still holds up with the werewolf effect of Lupin and Sirius Black. That was an awesome scene. They both turned to werewolves and they start going at it. My favorite scene in this film is actually the scene where Harry and Hermione actually time travel with Hermione's time turner to save Sirius Black for the Dementors and he actually uses the spell that, that Professor Lupin teaches him. Of course, the spell is Expecto Patronum to take out the Dementors. And the scene where they time travel in, in, this, in the film was actually a very awesome scene. I love how to use the special effects in this film, which I'm still trying to figure out how did they do that scene. To this day, I don't know how they did the time travel scene. I still don't know. I still don't know, but they saved um, Sirius Black, and actually Harry thought that the guy that was taken down by the Dementor was his father, but it was actually him. I love how I love that scene in this film. The Prisoner of Azkaban. It's one of my favorites in this Harry Potter franchise. I love the story in this film. I love the characters. I love the visuals. This film was perfect. This film was great. I really do love this film. I don't know if I do love this movie more or less than I do for the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Because those are my two favorites in this franchise. Those are two very fantastic films. And it's kind of hard, but I'll see you when I rewatch the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And you know, I'm gonna give Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban an A+. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Look forward for my review of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire pretty soon. You guys are the best. So let me know what you think of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban in the comment section down be new and as always guys if you are new to my channel and you like this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time